welcome back to Keith David's Fully White Bastard Child. Uh, this is Meth Head Rants, but it's going to be the comic episode. This is the comics episode, and don't get me wrong, it mainly will. But I gotta bring up Freeze Your Brain from the Heather's musical is fucking gas, bro. I used to listen to, like, musicals in middle school and shit, and I've been, like, re-listening to them. Bro, they're gas. I don't know why I stopped, to be honest. To actual comics. So I finished up the whole, like, deceased storyline. Uh, that shit was, that shit was so fucking good, bro. Like, typically I'm not a huge fan of, like, the zombie concept. I haven't read too many. In, in, like, superheroes anyway, right? Like, it, it always seems like it's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A logistical disaster, right? It's like, how the fuck are these zombies gonna have the power? Like, how, like, I typically view zombies, right? Because even if it's, like, dying light zombies... Ain't no shot they got a chance against fucking Superman, right? Like, Brody could just, dist- like, crush him. But how they did it in the... Oh, shit, I should mention spoilers for just a bunch of comic shit, but especially Deceased. Uh, But for this one, it being, like, the anti-life equation is cool and, like, not needing... And then it makes more sense for why they can use their powers, you know what I mean? Like, if they were just some fucking Walking Dead space virus, and that's the real explanation for it, then it, and they just, like, got bit, and it, it'd be, like, it'd be tough, but they wouldn't know to, like, move, move like, like Superman, or, like, attack, use the strength properly, it would just be a buff-ass zombie, but because it's the anti-life equation, it's just makes them want to kill as much as possible, and I think that's a lot more interesting. And like, I was I was kind of wondering if they're gonna push out on it, right? But when they like, in like one of the first storylines, they fucking kill off Batman, Dick Grayson, and shit. Uh, the one that I don't like, Tim Drake, seeing him to grow up like that is really sick. It really, I feel like a, the issue with Damien a lot of the time is that he's too like childish that's kind of his thing and writers will like rely on that too heavy right um i don't know he's always just been like the bad kid so like really like maturing him like that and it like it's like four hours worth of comics wasn't so a short time but in a relatively short time like having him grow up and then like sacrifice himself at the end to stop the anti-life equation is, I don't know, it's just powerful. It's cool that they, they like, really made shit different than other interpretations of Damien. And, like, I guess to a similar extent, they did the same thing with John? Superman's son. I'm gonna refer to him as John because I'm not sure I remember his name. Uh, but, no, I don't know. Not to the same extent, though, because his dad does survive. Like, he's thought to be effectively dead for a while. But then they, like, brought him back. And he also had his mother. Uh, and, well, I guess t- Damien did technically have Talia. It really wasn't the same, because, like, he was could not see her or, like, talk to her all that much. Because it's Talia al Ghul, you know what I mean? I'm probably saying that wrong, too, but fuck it. And, all, like... Zombie Wonder Woman speeches were went crazy for no fucking reason at all. Like it, they were they were fucking good, bro. Like when she like when uh Superman not Superman Cyborg puts the lasso of truth on her as she, the uh the rest of the people are leaving Earth to survive, and she's and she goes on the whole speech about how he was the cure and he failed them, and then she rips his fucking head off and chucks it. That shit was sick. Uh, and they did my boy Jason Todd. They did him fucking. They did him correct, bro. Uh, him like teaming up with uh, Deathstroke, Cheetah, Bane, Killer. Was it Killer Croc? I think it was Killer Croc. Uh, and another dude. It was it was sick. Um, the, the relationship that pro- that came out of Emily and Jason Todd. Made a lot of sense. Didn't really feel forced. Uh, he fucking died again. 
but it, it led to a pretty good joke for Constantine, so I'm not like that mad. Uh because <laughs> like he dies. Damien looks at Constantine, he's like, You thought you said nobody had to die for this. And he said, I said nobody alive would die for this. Or who and uh that was entertaining. Also, any story with uh Constantine and Jason Todd, I'm just gonna like because I got it. Oh, Jason Todd, Etrigan, and Constantine. This shit was made for me. So well, we, uh, Jason Todd dick writing. Uh, he's, I don't know if it's controversial or not, but I think All-Star Batman could have been a decent concept. Like, obviously the writing was shit. Really funny, but it was shit. Right? Uh, but it, it... Sorry, I just... Batman saying, what are you retarded or something to Robin is very funny. Because I aged beautifully, but... The concept of, like, this Batman being ridiculously mean would have worked as a Jason Todd story if in this, like, soft reboot, right, it was Jason Todd would be the first Robin, right, and it was just after he, like, got established. So he still doesn't fully understand, like, or know how to handle, like, the social aspect of it, right? That's why he does all the weird shit, like, laughing on jumping down, and, like, he's trying to figure, and, like, all the super harsh training and such, and then when Jason, like, dies, to Yak as a Joker, because that shit's just funny, and I want to keep that in, uh, he realizes, like, oh, this isn't what I need to do, and then all, and then, whatever the next officer, Batman and Robin, I think was the next comic, would be the Dick Grayson comic, where he's trying to, like, fix his actions. I think that's just a decent concept, right? But how they executed it was dog shit. You don't know I'll start Batman and Robin. Go watch the Huggies video. Much higher quality than this. Obviously, I love Mortal Kombat, right? And I think Peacemaker and... Is there any other DC characters in that? No. I think Peacemaker, cool that he's in there. Right? I think Joker and Eleven, cool that he's in there. But we need a new fucking Injustice, bro. We... It's... The quality that NetherRealm puts out, along with, like... For all, like the quality of DC things has, like risen in general over the past like couple of years obviously we still have some dog shit movies black adam i've never seen shazam flash uh but uh and then the really forgettable ones like Night wonder woman 1984 but oh, like we've also just had like an overall raise in them too right like the peacemaker show was really good uh fucking suicides the new suicide squad with james gunn was really good uh, Joker. I, I'm honestly excited for the new musical Joker thing because if any character should have crazy ass sequels, it's the Joker. Like sequels that make no sense genre wise, that fucking works. And I just, I need it, bro. I ain't even go front. I need that shit. And Justice Two is like my favorite game of all time. Uh, maybe I just have bad taste because it's not even the best Nether Realm game, but. I just, bro, I need another one. I need another one, bro. I need to get back in there. I need to, to, to fucking transition people again. I need Black Canary to be Bombo by jumping off of Bane's chest. Bro, I, oh, it's so fucking cool, bro. Make Deadshot not suck. He should not be good at everything. And if he's a zoner, make him interesting. If they keep him in at all. I, I like Deadshot as a character. I have a soft spot for him, but, like, Get him the fuck out of there if you're just going to do it with him again. Bro, they could add Constantine in this one. And, bro, Constantine versus Dr. Fate. And you could see, like, the different magic styles act in that, like, environment. Because Dr. Fate was sick as fuck in, in the last game. Like, he was, in my opinion, an interesting fucking zoner. Being able to switch, like, stances effectively was dope as fuck. Right? And I think, Mick, and then having that with, like, John's more, I don't know, cult magic, I guess, like, the demon shit, would be sick as fuck, bro. And, like, there's, I think they're a lot more willing to do more bizarre characters now, so I think the roster you would get would be sick as shit. Know how to handle, like, the social aspect of it, right? That's why he does all the weird shit, like, laughing on jumping down, and, like, he's trying to figure, and, like, all the super harsh training and such, and then when Jason, like, dies, to Yak as a Joker, because that shit's just funny, and I want to keep that in, uh, he realizes, like, oh, this isn't what I need to do, and then all, and then, whatever the next officer, Batman and Robin, I think was the next comic, would be the Dick Grayson comic, where he's 
trying to like fix his actions. I think that's just a decent concept, right? But how they executed was dog shit. If you don't know All Star Batman or Robin, go watch the Huggies video. Much higher quality than this. It would it would just be nice to have a decent game in the DC universe. Um, yeah, because they have not been great, bro. Fucking Gotham Knights was so fucking boring that like play I played through part of it with a friend, right? And like I was I was just scraping for the cutscenes because some of the lines were fun, right? Like Red Hood going, I don't fuck with this nerd shit. Went talking to Batgirl about some random some random computer he found for evidence. Uh and then the flight was really funny for everyone. It's like fool. <laughs> Grayson created a teleportation belt. Another one's got a fucking Fortnite glider. And Red Hood can just create spirit platforms underneath them. Cause fuck you. He's cool. Um and he just he just stares at a wall to get it. It's fucking great. I mean, it's not a good game. Don't play it. It's not worth it. It's so fucking boring. But there are certain scenes in it that are really funny. Uh, and the story, I... Story con... I don't know. Story's not terrible. That's a lie. It's really fucking bad. It's really fucking bad. But it's... it's it, The story can be entertaining. I recommend watching some of the cutscenes. Like, Harley Quinn is a fucking Twitch streamer. I peeked the mic with that one. My fault. But were they trying to copy that one character in Spider-Man that uh, in the Spider-Man PS4 game, where she, yeah, where she has like do this for the live stream, fight these. Is that what they were trying to copy from that? They were like, but if that's what they were trying to copy, why would you take that aspect for PS Spider-Man PS4? You know what I mean? Like, it's just I don't know. It's weird. It's like comics, and you thought I'd be talking about Marvel. Uh, I'm really not. I don't know, bro. Uh, I'm just an edgy fuck, I guess. So I prefer DC comics overall, like for the characters, the stories, and shit. Um, and that's, the, and I'm not even like talking about the movies. The movies recently have been like fucking dog shit. Um, some of them had good action, but overall, it's just they're just boring, bro. Mm -mm. Some of them have had decent. Some of them are decent just because of like the directing is good and the visuals are nice, but. They're not, like, great movies. Most of them aren't even good movies or fun enough to watch, really. Uh, but like I said, I might just be an edgy fuck, and I get that. If you enjoy him, fucking great, bro. Just not my thing. I fucking lied. I have to talk about Elsa Bloodstone, like, the best, the best Marvel character. Uh, she's the daughter of the old Bloodstone who was like this like super strong caveman type dude and um she moves into a his castle and meets with uh Frankenstein and someone else who he has there like monsters and they help her like learn how to fight and she eventually like her weapon of choice is two M1 she's dual wielding M1 grands and she has this red gem in her chest that gives her like super strength, more durable skin. She's faster. She's more agile, and then she just gets super confident, super quick to the point where like you see her at her first like superhero team, and she's jumping into she jumped into Fin Fang Foom's mouth with her jump yeah with two M1 Grands shooting at his eyes to distract them. Right or no? She jumped out of a building shooting at him. Her partner jumped in his mouth with a chainsaw and cut him up from the inside. That's what it was. But still, she jumped off a fucking building, shooting at Fin Fang Foom, with who will they get? One grand, bro. I just, it was gas. It's, she's fucking great. That's that's Marvel scene. No, I wouldn't watch it. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't watch that series on Disney Plus because it would probably not be good. Um, But her comics are gas. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to all get the question. Uh, look at this shit. Man, I think it's really fucking cool. It's a collection of Junji Ito stories. It's got fucking a uh, used record. Holy shit, I can't read for shit. Shiver, fashion model, hanging blimp, marionette mansion, painter, long dream, honored ancestors, greased, and the fashion model in the cursed frame, previously unreleased. Tight as fuck. I think this shit's sick. And then, I don't know if we talked about this before, but my 
my uh, my girl got me the Twisted Visions shit, which is just like Junji Ito art book. Right? I think it's real cool. Junji Ito is one of my favorite horror authors, and I guess illustrators too. So that's just tight. And fuck you, I have it, I, and you don't. That's what fucks niggas, is, right? It's technically manga, but like, I see them as the same, like, the same media as comic books, just like I see, and just like, it, to me, anime is just TV, right? It's not a difference of turning on a TV show. It could be live action, it could be a cartoon, it could be an anime, it's just TV, you know what I mean? Uh, well, that's it. It's been real, it's been fun, hasn't been real fun, fuck you. I went to this